Digging into history by researching the burial ground on the Arkansas School for the Deaf campus. They're working alongside archaeologists for a ground survey. And our Haley Brooks on the scene with them as the survey was being conducted. Haley. Donna, Kevin, right now we're standing in the burial ground and the school did know about it because it's marked by this tombstone over here. So all of this green space around me is going to be surveyed by the archaeologists, but they're also surveying the pavement that surrounds it as well because this is where the crypt was found. The most interesting part is it's almost 100 years of history. It's not every day your school has archaeologists surveying the ground looking to see how many people are buried here. But that's exactly what's happening at the Arkansas School for the Deaf. And the reason that the, the, the people that have died a long time ago, uh, they, people that live far away didn't have enough money to go home and so they buried them here, have staff, students, principals. Last October, a crypt was revealed just under the pavement at the school. And ever since, students like eighth grader Michelangelo Marnez have been studying all about the burial ground and the history of the school. I feel very proud about that because it's my school and the legacy that's been. Now students are working alongside archaeologist Dr. Andrew Bupre for a non-invasive survey of the ground using ground-penetrating radar. The most respectful way when you're dealing with something like a graveyard that you don't want to disturb remains unnecessarily. Bupre says they will go back and forth in these rows 20 times and in the end they will have a map of what is under the surface. He says it will look like blobs at first. We'll have all that data um, kind of crunched together. We'll have those maps. We're going to be able to come out here and look and see if it's uh, indicative of any sort of archaeological feature. Marnez says he's excited for the end results. I'm looking forward to see who has actually died there. Now in two or three weeks, the archaeologists will come back with their findings, and the goal is to know how many people are buried here. But I'm told that there's no guarantee. Reporting live in Little Rock, I'm Haley Brooks. Back to you. All right, Haley, thank you. Now during this time of research, the Arkansas School for the Deaf is asking everyone to stay off campus. Last time we ran a story about the burial grounds, people wanted to see it with their own eyes. However, it puts the students there at risk. So the school is asking respectfully that you do not drive onto the campus.